The sure collar stand is a mandarin collar. Measure the length of half the back neckline from the high point shoulder to the center back. Draw a horizontal line that is the same dimension. Now measure the length of half the front neckline from the high point shoulder to the center front. Extend the horizontal line that you just drew by this same dimension using a curved ruler, ending roughly 0.5 inches above the first horizontal line. Extend this line by 0.625 inches to account for the shirt facing. The collar stand is 1 inch tall. From the center back of the collar stand, draw a perpendicular line that is 1 inch high. The lines of the top of the collar stand from the center back to the center front mark are parallel with the lines of the bottom of the collar stand. When you get to the collar stand portion beyond the center front mark, draw a curve downwards like this, giving the collar stand its signature mandarin collar look. Add in your seam allowances. This is the final collar stand pattern piece. You will need to cut two on the fold from your shirt fabric and one on the fold from your interfacing. We will use the shirt collar stand as the starting point to draw the shirt collar. The top of the shirt collar has the same shape as the top of the collar stand, starting at the center back and ending at the center front. From the center back of the collar, draw a perpendicular line downwards that is 2 inches high. From the center front of the collar, draw a perpendicular line downwards that is 2.5 inches high. Use a curved ruler or flexible ruler to connect the two ends of the collar. To ensure that your collar has enough fabric to cover the base of your neck, we need to perform a slash and spread. You will cut two slash lines up to the upper edge of your collar, but not through it. The first slash line will be at the halfway mark along the back neckline measurement, and the second slash line will be at the halfway mark along the front neckline measurement. Spread the pattern pieces by roughly an eighth of an inch, then tape everything in place. Add in your seam allowances. This is the final collar pattern piece. You will need to cut two on the fold from your shirt fabric and one on the fold from your interfacing. Place the two collar pieces right sides together, then clip in place. Sew from one end of the collar to the other, pivoting at the collar points. Clip across the corners and trim down the seam allowances. Then turn the collar right sides out. Press the collar flat. Top stitch along the outside of the collar, pivoting at the collar points. Press the collar flat again. This is what it should look like after pressing. Draw the seam allowances onto the collar stand pieces using a fabric marker. Take one collar stand piece and fold along the seam allowance of the neckline, then press it in place. Top stitch on the collar neckline, sewing as close as possible to the seam allowance. We'll be top stitching along the actual edge of this once the collar is attached to the shirt. Place this collar stand right sides together with the collar, lining up the notches, then clip in place. The collar should end at the marked center front locations on the collar stand. At just under the seam allowance, starting from the center line, sew to the other end, stopping when the collar ends at the center front notch. You will sew the rest of the collar stand after it's attached to the shirt neckline. Reverse the collar stand and sew from the center line to the other end, again stopping when the collar ends at the center front notch. The reason we sew from the center to each end is to ensure that the collar is symmetrical when it's finished, as there may be some stretching when we sew this. This method ensures symmetry. Place the other collar stand piece right sides together on the other end of the collar, then clip in place. At the seam allowance, starting from the center line, sew to the other end, stopping when the collar ends at the center front notch. You will sew the rest of the collar stand after it's attached to the shirt neckline. Reverse the collar stand and sew from the center line to the other end, again stopping when the collar ends at the center front notch. Once complete, fold the collar stand down and press everything flat. This is what it should look like after pressing. 
Place the right side of the non-folded collar stand against the right side of the shirt neckline, lining up the center notch and shoulder notches. Then clip in place. Starting at the center line, sew to the end of the front facing. Reverse the collar and sew from the center line to the other end of the front facing. For each collar end, fold the collar stand pieces right sides together, laying them flat like this. Mark the end location of the facing. Then. Use a fabric marker to draw in the rest of the collar stand curve, connecting it to the existing stitch line. Sew along that marking to close up the remainder of the collar stand on each end. Before trimming the seam allowance of the collar stand, fold it right sides out to confirm that the front facings line up perfectly. When you're happy with the alignment, trim the seam allowance of the collar stand leaving the neckline untouched. Fold the neckline seams under the collar stand. Use pins to hold the collar stand in place, making sure that the folded collar stand covers the seam stitching and aligns with the edge of the other half of the collar stand beneath. Top stitch along the edge of the collar stand neckline. Take it nice and slow, making sure that the top and bottom collar stand layers are aligned. Once finished, continue top stitching around the rest of the collar stand. Press it flat. This is what your finished top stitching should look like. And this is what your finished collar should look like. If you'd like to learn how to draft and sew the full shirt from scratch, watch my other videos linked in the description.